Well, it's Saturday and I found my camp spot. I'm at Otter Creek Reservoir, which is BLM land, and I couldn't ask for a better spot. I mean, look at my view. Hold on, wait a minute. I guess I should start with why am I here and how did I get here? All right, it's 5 a.m., the van is packed, ready to hit the road. I am bound for the promised land. I'm bound for the promised land. Bound for the promised land. Well, I'm going on a week-long camping and off-roading trip in Utah with Nick and MJ. But they wanted to enter Moab through Arizona because they wanted to check out Sedona first. So they left a day before me. So I decided to take the 15 freeway from Los Angeles all the way to here, Otter Creek Reservoir in Utah. It took me 10 hours to get here. I'm gonna camp here at this beautiful camp spot and then tomorrow I'm gonna meet them in South Moab. I'm gonna meet them at Beef Basin Road. But for tonight, this'll be my home. So while my day looked like this, this is how Nick and MJ's day looked. This is how I spent my night. This is how they spent theirs. The next day I hit the road for Moab. You know, sometimes we just gotta wait for cow crossings. All right, so it took me four hours to get from the Otter Creek Reservoir to Moab, and then another hour from Moab to get here at the beginning of the Beef Basin Road. And so I'm at the corner of the 211 and the Beef Basin, and I'm gonna hang out here waiting for Nick and MJ to join me, and then we're gonna go explore the Beef Basin. Beef Basin was a great place to camp, and I was glad to spend the time with my friends. We had a quick stop at Newspaper Rock to see the petroglyphs. The markings span almost 2,000 years, the oldest being etched sometime in BC up until around 1300 AD. Wanting to play, we set out to do a few off-road trails. We decided to start with Cameo Cliffs to Wilson Arch. We started the trail to the Cameo Cliffs off the 114, but we kept getting turned around. There were so many ATV trails that we kept ending up on the wrong trail. We ended up at a dead end against the cliffside, so we turned around and decided to enter the trail from the north side, just so we could get to the Wilson Arch Overlook. But on the way, we decided to hit up the Picture Frame Arch Trail for lunch. All right, we're gonna go check out the Picture Frame Arch Off-Road Trail. Let's do it.
After Picture Frame Arch, we hit the north entrance of the Cameo Cliffs Trail. The north side was much more rocky and challenging. The view is totally worth it. Oh, the back tire, the back, oh, got it, good. Oh! We swapped out the spare tire for the Outback and then headed to Sand Flats Recreation Area. Sand Flats is a four x four off-roading playground. This is where we will camp for the next two nights. I wish I had, I brought some like cilantro and just like peppered that cilantro on there. The next day we wanted to check out Porcupine Rim. So here's what the Porcupine Ridge camp spot looks like. Our next camp spot was in the middle of a crossroads for 4x4 trails and tours. I thought it was hilarious having tours drive by our camp. It definitely made it more interesting using my rooftop shower. The next morning we went into Moab to pick up a new spare tire for the Outback and then made our journey to Escalante with a stop at Factory Butte. Factory Butte was awesome. It is a large wasteland of hard packed gray sand. You can drive in any direction. You feel small out here in the gray. This is a spot I will definitely come back to. Then we headed to Escalante to spend the night. Nick and MJ had a hotel waiting. 
I continued my van life by camping at an RV park in the 4x4 Astro. The next day, the plan was to explore the backcountry of Zion and hit up some slot canyons. But things don't always go as planned. Everything on the Astro Van has been rebuilt. Everything is basically new except the transmission. Finally, the 21-year-old transmission failed. I made the long journey back to LA while Nick and MJ headed to Colorado City to explore some slot canyons. Afterwards, they headed into the woods outside Cedar Breaks National Monument. The whole trip we were camping in desert. I love trees. The whole time I was asking, can we just camp in some trees? And as soon as I leave, as soon as I'm on my way back to LA, Nick and MJ hit up the woods. 